Ignition failed alarm. Today, on Pellet Tech Talk. There are three main alert messages that comfort built pellet stoves can display. 1. Ignition failed. 2. High temperature or overheat alert. 3. Low temperature alert or check hopper and burn pot message. The other two are covered in other videos, so today we will be exploring the common causes and solutions for an ignition failed alarm. Question. How do I clear the alarm message? Great question. When an alert or fault code displays on the screen, you first need to acknowledge it, so that the stove will return to its home screen. To do this, simply press and hold the on-off button at the top left corner of the control panel for several seconds. This will clear the alert message and display the home screen again. Question. Why does the stove fail to ignite a fire? Good question. So there are three main elements needed to start a fire. Fuel, heat, and airflow. If any one of these is lacking, the stove will struggle to get a fire going and most likely fail to ignite. Let's look closer at each of these main elements. 1. Pellet fuel. The stove needs enough pellets to start a decent fire. If it looks like the stove is not feeding pellets. First, check to make sure the hopper is full and the lid is closed. You can also refer to our feeder troubleshooting video for more in-depth troubleshooting. Links will be in the description. 2. Heat. If the igniter is not properly positioned, or fails to get hot enough within the first couple minutes, there will most likely be too much fuel in the burn pot to properly ignite, causing an ignition failure message to occur. See our igniter troubleshooting video for more details. Links will be in the description. 3. Airflow. If the airflow becomes impeded, the stove may not be able to draw in the superheated air from the igniter tube into the pellets, or may just lack the oxygen for proper combustion. See our airflow video for more information on this topic. Links will be in the description. Question. What if the fire ignites properly, but then times out, and gives an ignition failed message? Ah, great question. When you press the on-off button, the stove starts all three of these main systems to get the fire started. Once started, the stove allows 10 to 15 minutes for the heat to build up at the exhaust housing, which triggers the proof of fire sensor. Once this POF switch engages, the stove will go into heating mode, and the blower fan will engage. When everything appears to be working, and a decent fire starts within the first few minutes of operation, and maintains a decent fire throughout the ignition phases, but still triggers the ignite fail message. This usually indicates a communication issue between the computer and the proof of fire sensor. Check to make sure that the lead wires are secure to the switch and the circuit board. You can also move the lead wires over to the pre-installed backup. See our low temperature alert video for more information regarding this fire sensor. Question. What if the fire starts, the blower comes on, and then the auger stops feeding pellets? Well, that usually indicates that there may be a vacuum switch fault. See our vacuum switch troubleshooting guide for more in-depth information. Links will be in the description. So to recap, make sure the hopper is full and the auger is feeding. Make sure the igniter is properly positioned and getting hot. And make sure the stove is clean and there is nothing impeding the airflow. And that's it. You're all set. Thanks for watching. Until next time, on Pellet Tech Talk.